So Udemy and LinkedIn Learning. So the agenda for today is I'm gonna go over uh, what do you need to start with? What is Udemy and how does Udemy look in app? What is LinkedIn Learning and how does that look in app? How to access and navigation of the two platforms. So what is needed to start? So you would need to have a San Francisco Public Library card. If you don't have one yet, you could go to sfpl.org for more information on how to sign up, or you could give us a call at 415-557-4400, and you can ask about signing up for a library card. And once you get your library card, you need a library card PIN number. And if you already have a library card, but you don't remember your PIN number, you can always call us and someone will be able to help you. And the next thing is you need an email address. So any email address should be fine, but for Udemy, you would need to have a Gmail or a Microsoft email. So like a Hotmail account or an MSN account. And you would need to have a desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet to utilize any of these platforms. So Udemy, what is Udemy? Udemy is an on-demand e-learning platform where you access it online on your smartphone, tablet, or on your laptop or a desktop computer. You have access to over about 4,000 high quality on-demand video courses taught by instructors. So these courses are non-credit. And within these courses, there is about 75 categories in the areas of kind of business, technology, and design. And if you complete any of these courses, you do earn a certificate of completion, but uh, these uh, courses are non-credit. So these certificates are like non-credit. And this platform is available through SFPL at the website here listed on the screen, sfpl.org slash e-learning. So if you're gonna access Udemy on like, let's say a smartphone or a tablet, it should look something similar to this. So Udemy is available on Android devices and on the iOS system as well too. So you would go to the Google Play Store if you have an Android device, or you would go to the Apple App Store if you have like an iPhone or iPad. And you would have to look for the Udemy business app. So the reason is, uh, there are two apps. One is Udemy Regular and one is Udemy Business. Since you're accessing Udemy through the library, it's going to be accessed through the business app. And on your screen right here, I'm showing you a couple of screenshots. These screenshots are from Android device. So if you have, let's say, uh, like iPhone or iPad, it might look a little bit different. So on the left-hand side of the screen right here, the first screenshot, once you download the app onto your device and you open the app, you should get to this screen right here. It's gonna ask you to sign in. And once you sign in, it's gonna ask you like, what's your organization's name? So you're accessing Udemy through the library and, and the library is kind of accessing this through Gale. So you have to enter in G-A-L-E in the section right here, kind of in the middle of your screen. And then once you enter G-A-L-E here, you hit next right here. And once you hit the next button on the, the right-hand side, you will get to the next page right here. So since you're accessing this, uh, let's say not in the library, at home or on the bus or anywhere with the internet connection, they, they're gonna ask you for your library card and PIN number. And this is where you enter in your barcode right here for your library card number, and you enter in your PIN number right here near the bottom. And once you enter in both of these, you hit submit. And once you hit submit, you'll get to a page that should, should look like this, which is third screenshot right here. It should say Udemy, and near the bottom of the page, or kind of middle to the bottom, it's gonna say, find your institution. So Udemy is available uh, to colleges, to like K to 12 primary school, and to public libraries as well too. So you're accessing this through the public library. So you will select the public library option, which is the third option on the screen. And once you select that, you should go to the search bar, which is right below it. And you should enter in San Francisco Public Library. Once you enter in San Francisco Public Library right here, it's gonna give you like a list. And once you get to a list, you just click on San Francisco Public Library. And once you click on it, you should get to this page right here. So it's gonna ask you to sign in. And I'll go to the next page. So in order for you to sign into Udemy, you will have to have a Google account or a Microsoft account. The reason is because this is how the platform kind of creates an account for you. So if you already have one, you would just click on any of the links on the left-hand side right here, sign in with Google or sign in with um, the Microsoft. If you do not have an account with either of these three platforms, you can sign up for a free account. So for example, if you don't have a Google account, you can sign up for a free Gmail account. 
And once you sign up for a free Gmail account, you will have access to that account and you can sign in with that. And once you click sign in, you should get to this next screen right here, kind of near the middle of the page. And right here, you enter in your, let's say your Gmail account, your email, and you hit next. And you, after that, you enter in your password. And once you enter in your password, you will get to this screen right here, which is the third screenshot. It should welcome you to the platform. It should give you, uh, let's say, if it's your first time, you won't see this right here. But if you've been here before, it's going to ask you, do you want to start back on your previous course? But since you're starting from the beginning, you won't see the screen right here. And you can scroll down, you can see what's available. And if you look on the bottom, there are these four icons right here. There's a featured icon, which is kind of like a star. And, and we're starting from the left. There is kind of like a magnifying glass, which is the discover icon. And you could kind of like search for certain courses that are available. And the third icon, it looks like a play button and it's the my learning option. So this is where let's say you've started some courses already and you want to look back and see which courses you have start. And the fourth icon, which is the account icon, it's kind of indicated by like a person in the circle. This is where like all your information lives and your settings. And the fourth screenshot right here, it is kind of like a preview of the discover option. So once you click on this on the bottom, you should get to the screen right here. You have the search bar near the top, search all courses, or you can browse categories and you can scroll through these options right here near the middle to the bottom of the page. And you can see kind of what's available and that's how you kind of explore to see, oh, I'm interested in this course or I'm interested in that course. And that was Udemy. So I'm gonna move on to LinkedIn Learning. So LinkedIn Learning is very similar to Udemy. So it's kind of like the on-demand e-learning platform with over 16,000 courses. So the courses are in business, uh, design, technology, and other categories as well too. You can access this from a web browser or you can access this from an app on your smartphone or tablet. And you will have to type in SFPO when prompted for library ID. And it's available through sfpo.org slash elearn. And I'm gonna go over how LinkedIn Learning looks on your smartphone or tablet. So you would download this app onto your device. Like I said before, if you have an Android device, you would go to the Google Play Store. Or if you have an Apple device like an iPhone or iPad, you would go to Apple App Store. And once you download the app and you open it, you should see a screen similar to this. So it's going to ask you to sign in or join now. So since you are accessing this through the library, you will click on sign in, which is right here near the bottom of the screen on the left side. And once you click on sign in, you should get to this next page right here. And it's going to say your library invites you to LinkedIn Learning. And one, if you look below this, you should see a section that says enter your library ID. And it should have like a pre-filled link here already. So it should say LinkedIn Learning, Learning Login. And near the end of the link right here, it should say Library ID. So this is where you enter in SFPL because you're accessing this through San Francisco Public Library. And once you enter in SFPL, you hit Continue, which is near the bottom of the screen. It should be like a bluish icon. You click on that and it should get you to the next screen right here on the far right hand side. And it's gonna say, verify your library card to start learning. And this is where you enter in your library card number and your PIN number. And once you do that, you hit continue near the bottom of the screen. And you should be able to log into LinkedIn Learning on your device. And once you're in, you should see a screen similar to this. You should see it near the top, kind of like a section where they're gonna give you like previews about what's new, what are the new courses. And near the middle of the page, it's gonna give you like top picks for you. So if you, this is your first time, it might not know like what you want to search for, but if you've uh, done some searching before, let's say you search for like Google or Microsoft Word or Excel, they're going to use that and they're going to give you like recommendations. And if you look at on the bottom, you should see four icons as well. One icon starting from the left is the home button. So once you click on the home button, it should get you to the screen right here. And if you go to the second icon, which is the topics icon, it's going to indicate it by like three lines with like circles. Once you click on that, you should see the screen like this. And this is where you can kind of browse to see what's available. And once you browse, you can see there's business, there's creative, there's technology, and you can always uh, do like a search. If you go to the top right-hand corner of the page and you look for the magnifying glass right here and you click on that and you can enter in your search topic. And on the third screenshot right here, it is the My Learning option. So this is where you would go to see like what kind of courses you've done in the past and what courses that you have finished or you haven't finished. And you will click on this option 
and you will kind of go to like the previous courses so you can finish them. So on the screen right here, it says in progress. So these are the courses that I've started, but I have not finished. Okay, so that was LinkedIn Learning. So how do you access any of these platforms? You would go to your web browser. It could be, let's say, Google Chrome, was it Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or you could use your smartphone, your Android, or your iPhone, or your tablet, like an iPad, or like an Android device. Okay, so now I'm going to do a demonstration of how to access these platforms. And you would go to sfpo.org slash e-learning if you can access this through your laptop or desktop computer. Okay, on your screen right now, you should be seeing the e-learning page from sfpo.org. So you would uh, go to your uh, favorite like web browser, you go to the address bar and you type in sfpo.org slash e-learning and you will get to this page right here. So once you get to this page, you can scroll down, you can see the many offerings that the library offers. And we will look for LinkedIn Learning, which is right here, and which is the first platform I'm gonna go over. So LinkedIn Learning used to be lynda.com. So if you've used lynda.com before, uh, it should look very similar, but there, there are a couple of differences like appearance. So you might see some things that you recognize and you might see some things that are new. And an important note, so if you're accessing LinkedIn Learning and you have like a temporary access card, so, and you want to upgrade to like a permanent card in, later, so your learning history will no longer be accessible when you switch over to a new card. So if you want to do that, please save or print any certificates of completion before upgrading to a new library card. So once you're here, you'll click on the LinkedIn Learning link right here in the middle of the page. And it should bring you to this page right here. Your library invites you to LinkedIn Learning and you will go to get started. Okay, and right here, it's gonna ask you for your library card and PIN number. So if you're accessing this, let's say in, uh, in the SAPL library, it's not gonna ask you for your library card and PIN number, but if you're at home, you should get to a different page before this page, and it's gonna ask you for your library card and PIN number. And you will enter that first, then you get to here, you have to enter in your library card and PIN number again. So after you enter in your library card and PIN number, this is what you should see. So this is kind of like the main LinkedIn learning page, and there is a lot going on here. So the first thing to look at is uh, the search bar, which is near the top of the screen right here, near the middle top. And it's kind of indicated by like a magnifying glass. So this is where you would go and you kind of enter in search terms for skills, subjects, or like certain softwares that you would want to learn. So I'm going to do a test search right here. So I'm going to say Microsoft, let's say Excel. So once you type in like a search term, the, the platform should give you like uh, suggestions. So you can look through the list to see what's available. So I'm gonna go to Microsoft Excel, which is right here. So once I, I click on that, it's gonna search for all the available like courses on Microsoft Excel. And it, you can see right here, there is about 202 search results for Microsoft Excel. And you can scroll through the available options. So right here, it's sorting by best, best match. But if you go to the right-hand side of the page, you click on this word that says best match. There should be like a triangle pointing down. You click on that and you can sort it by best match, view count or newest. So let's say I want to go newest. So it's going to sort by newest, but let's say you want to filter more things. So you would go to the top of the page. You look for this bar right here. It should be, uh, so starting from the left, it says type, and on the kind of like the middle of the page, it should say all filters. So this is where you can kind of um, narrow down your search. So I'll click on type, which is right here. And I'll say I want videos. And I'll hit show results, which is right here. So it's going to kind of resort my results. And let's say I want to sort by level. So I'll go to the top near the middle, I'll click on level. And I want to say beginner. So I'll click on beginner and I'll hit the show results, which is near the middle. So right now I've sorted my search results for videos and for beginner. And my results are there are 1,334 results for Microsoft Excel. And you can scroll through any of these. But let's say I want like a, like a course. So I will go back to the section right here. I'll go to videos. I'll select courses and I'll unselect video. I hit show results. 
And right here, it's gonna sort my results to courses. And I have 40 courses for Microsoft Excel. So I am gonna click on one of these. So I'm gonna say, I wanna learn Excel for the web. So I'll click on this link right here. And it's gonna bring me directly into the course. So this is what you'll see once you click on any of the search results for any course. So in the middle of the page right here, you should be able to see the video of the course. And if you go to the left-hand side of the screen, you should see like all the topics that are available. So usually it's the introduction first and you have all the topics that follow it. So there is the introduction, learn how to use Excel online. So if you look through this list right here, the entire course is kind of broken down into different subjects. And you can see how long these subjects are. So one minute and 15 seconds for this one on the left. And if you scroll down, there's more. And you see two minutes, three minutes, two minutes. And that's kind of all the available sections of this course. And if you want to like replay it, you can always go back. So if I'm starting here, learn how to use Excel online. And I go through all of these. And let's say I want to watch it again. So I can always start back here or I can start back here or I can start back any of these. And if you think that one of these, these sections are like worth coming back to, you can always use this option right here, which is kind of like the bookmark option or the, like the favorites option. So you will click on this icon right here that kind of looks like a bookmark. And once you click on it, you should shade it in with the color white and it's kind of saved as like a, your favorite and you can always refer back to it. So I'm gonna go back to the main screen right here. So this is where the video plays, you hit play and it's gonna play throughout the, the video course and you can watch along. And if you want like closed captioning, you will look for the CC icon, which is usually near the bottom right hand corner of the video. And that should turn on the closed captioning. And I'm gonna scroll down for more information. So if you want more information about this course, you can scroll down and you can see the information uh, like who is the instructor. So he is the instructor right here. And what does this person do? So company director of this company right here. And if you scroll down more, you can see the course details. And it's gonna tell you how long this course is gonna take. So this course is gonna take 55 minutes. It's gonna be a beginner level. And it was updated in June 1 of 2021. And you can read the course details right here. And if you go down further, uh, you can see what are the uh, learning objectives of this course. So you can see, oh, this course is uh, using Excel online shortcuts, customizing your views. So you can read through this and see if this course kind of fits your needs. If it does, you watch it. If it doesn't, you always go back to your search results and look for a different course. And there is a section that says skills covered. So they should tell you what skills are being covered in this course. So this course is mainly covering Microsoft Excel skills. And if you keep going down, you see learners, how many people have liked this content and how many people have done this course. So for this course, about 10,000 people have started this course and learn about Microsoft Excel. And usually if you start like a course, there could be related courses. So that should be near the bottom of the page if you keep on scrolling down. So right here, it says related courses. So this course is about learning Excel for the web, but right here, it's kind of letting you know that if you're interested in this, you guys look for these courses too that are very similar. So like this one, Excel Essential Training or Excel Power Pivot for Beginners and so on. So that's kind of like the description and the options if you wanna look at it on like a course page. I'm gonna scroll back up and notice right here, we're under overview. But if you look to the right of overview, you just see this icon right here. It kind of looks like a notebook. So I'm gonna click on that. This is where kind of you type your notes. So if you're watching this um, course and you see like one section where you wanna save some notes, you will type it in here. And once you type in your notes, you have to hit enter on your keyboard and it's gonna save these notes for this specific section. And to the right of here, you should see kind of this option. It kind of looks like three lines. This is the transcript option. So this is kind of like the closed ca caption option, but you can kind of read like what the instructor is talking about. So I'm, I'm gonna hit play. So the instructor of this course is talking right now and whatever the person is saying, is gonna be kind of bolded on the screen right here. So you can follow along and see what they're talking about. 
And that's how you activate the transcript option. I'm going to pause. So that's pretty much kind of like a view of how a course looks like in LinkedIn Learning. And if you go to the top right-hand corner right here, you should see the save option right here. This is going to be very similar to this option right here. So if you think this is uh, worth saving, you click on it, it's going to highlight, and it's going to save to your favorites. And right here, this option, which is kind of like the plus option, this is the add to my content. So it's very similar to like saving as well too. And you can share this as well too, which is the next icon to the right. It, it kind of looks like an arrow pointing to the right. You click on share, and you can share this as a link in Teams, like Microsoft Teams, you can email it, Facebook or Twitter. So that's how like a course looks like in LinkedIn Learning. So I'm gonna go back to the main page. So I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner of the page and you should see the IN learning right here, this icon right here. This kind of brings you back to the main page. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna bring me back to the main page right here. So while we're here, you can see what's actually on the main page. So you can scroll down. You, you can see like the in progress courses on the right-hand side of your page. So I've started the Google Drive Essential Training right here. I haven't finished left it yet. So there's about 39 minutes left. And I've started the Monday productivity pointers as well too. And I have nine hours left here as well. And if you look to the right, you should see like show all. So if you have more than two, you should be able to see like what courses you've started in the past. And you can see like the whole list. So I'm gonna click on this right here on the right hand side. And it's gonna show me all the in progress courses that have started. And it's kind of indicated by the top left hand corner right here. So if you go to the left of this, that says in progress, you, you see saved. So these are the saved sections that I've saved that I thought that I would want to go back to in the future. So saved right here in my collection, which is right here to, which is the, to the right of saved. And it's kind of like your, your playlist. And if you go to the right again, you see the learning history option. So this is where like all of the courses that you've done and completed they live here. So I've completed three courses right here. And you can see the title right here, right here, right here in the middle of the page. And if you look below the title, you should say completed and you should have a date. So this course was completed on April 22 of 2021. And let's say you want the certificate. So you will go to the course that you've completed and you will go to the right of the course name and you look for the three dots, which is usually on the right bottom corner of the course. And you will click on the three dots right here. And you should be able to see the, these three options, add to collection, download certificate, remove. So you could click on download certificate and you could download the certificate to your computer. And the last option right here, which is to the right of learning history is skills. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see like what skills you're interested in as well too. And you could uh, add, add like new skills from the right hand side of your screen right here. So let's say I want like databases. So I'll click on that. It's going to add to this list right here. So I'm going to go back to the main page. I'm going to go to IN Learning, which is near the top left hand corner of the page. And we're back to the main page. So I'm going to scroll down more. And LinkedIn Learning will kind of give you like. Uh, like top picks for you. So if you've done like one course or two courses, they might kind of know like you might be interested in this or that. So it should live right here, topics for you. And you can scroll through any of these. And if you scroll down, there's gonna be a section that's kind of like the popular course on LinkedIn Learning. And, and it's usually right here. And you can scroll through these as well too. And LinkedIn Learning has like a trending now section where uh, it kind of sees like more people are doing this course right now versus like later. So this is the training now section right here. And you can scroll through all of these and see what, what are other people kind of doing for courses. And like I mentioned earlier, if you've like done certain courses, they might give you like suggestions. So if you've done, let's say you've watched Google Drive Essential Training, um, LinkedIn Learning might think that you might be interested in these courses as well too. And if you scroll down, there's gonna be like more suggestions. So I'm gonna scroll all the way back up and I'm gonna to go to this section right here. So near the top left-hand corner to the right of IN Learning, there should be like a button. It looks like three lines and it is the browse option. 
So let's say you don't know what you're interested in. So you could kind of browse the available topics. So I'm going to click on that. And once you click on that, you should be getting to this page where it just kind of shows you all the available topics. So you can scroll down and see what's available. And you can select one of these and you can see more about this topic. So since I've done Microsoft like Excel before, I'm gonna click on spreadsheets under business software and tools. And it's gonna give me all like the courses for the spreadsheets. Okay, and that's how you kind of browse the site and see what's available. So I'm gonna go over uh, like these icons near the top right-hand corner of the page right here. So I'm gonna start with the home button. So this is kind of where you click, where you go back to the main page. It's gonna indicate it by like a house icon. If you look to the right, it should say my learning and it looks like a book. And it's gonna bring you back to the page where it's gonna show, it's gonna show you like your courses in progress and what courses you've done in, in the past. And if you look to the right, you see notifications. It's indicated by like a bell icon. So um, like LinkedIn Learning might give you notifications like uh, let's say a course that you've done it in the past, it might be expiring or it's gonna be off the platform. And this is where you can see those notifications. If you go to the right of notifications, you see the icon says me. So this is kind of like your information. It's kind of indicated by like a, per like a person in like a circle. So once you click on me, you see the icon for San Francisco Public Library. You just see all these options right here. So in progress, save, collections, learning history, skills, language settings, and, and help center, and the sign out option as well too. And that's pretty much my uh, presentation on LinkedIn Learning. I'm gonna sign out. And I'm gonna move on to the next topic, which is Udemy. And I'm back on the e-learning page. I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm gonna to go to Udemy, which is right here, indicated by like a reddish U. And if you are using Udemy, you must be in the state of California. That's one of the requirements. And if you need more help kind of starting with Udemy, there is a Udemy FAQ section right here. And there's a link right here in the middle of the page. And so I'm gonna click on that and let you see what it looks like. So it's gonna go over what is Udemy, how to get started, and there's gonna be like step-by-step -step directions if you're using the web browser. So pretty much kind of what I'm going over right now. So I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna click on Udemy, which is right here. So if uh, you're not accessing this from the library, it's gonna ask you for your library card and PIN number. And once you enter in that, you should get to this page right here. And once you get to this page, there's gonna be like a short description about what Udemy is. You can read up on this, today courses, that takes a learner first approach. And if you're ready to sign in, you look for the sign in button, which is usually near the right hand side, to the middle of the page. And it's kind of like a orangish box. So sign in, create a Udemy account. So once you click on that, it's gonna ask you sign in with Google or Microsoft. So I went over earlier, you do need a Google account or a Microsoft account to sign up for a Udemy account. So I'm gonna use sign in with Google, which is right here. So this is where you enter in your, let's say uh, a Gmail account. Okay, so this is what you would see once you log into Udemy with your Google or a Microsoft account. And if it's like your first time, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna customize your course recommendations? And it should be like a, like a banner near the middle of the page. And there should be a link that says, get started. And once you click the get started, it's gonna ask you kind of like what topics are you kind of interested in? So like technology or like web development or business. And you can click on view all and you can select as many as you want. And it's gonna use this and it's gonna kind of kind of recommend like certain courses to you. So can we go back? I'm gonna skip. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the main page right here. So this is the main page of Udemy. And if you go to the top left-hand corner of the page, you see the categories option right here. So once you go to categories and you kind of hover your mouse over it, you have all these options. So you can see all the categories that are available and you can kind of hover over them and see which one kind of fits your needs. 
but let's say I'm interested in finance and accounting. So I'll go to finance and accounting. I'll go to certain sections right here, accounting software. So I use Excel before in the previous uh, examples. I'm going to use Excel again. So under popular topics, there's Excel. I'll click on Excel. And it's going to show you all the Excel courses. So there is a lot here. So you can scroll through. And you can see like which one kind of fits your needs. And you can kind of sort by ratings as well, too. So you could sort by 3.5 and up, 4.0 and up, or 4.5 and up. So let's say I want 4.5 and up. So I'll click on that on the left-hand side. And it's going to show me all the courses that are 4.5 and up. And let's say I want to sort by level. So I've done uh, sorting by level in the LinkedIn Learning Platform. And we'll do the same here. I'll click on the level option on the left-hand side. And I'm going to select beginner, which is right here. And there is about 17 courses that are for beginners. And we'll scroll back up. And these are all the available options. So let's say I'm interested in right here, Microsoft Excel 216 for beginners. So I'm going to click on the title right here. And it's going to bring me to the course page. So the course title is right here, Microsoft Excel 216. And if you scroll down, there's a rating 4.5, and there is about 1,115 ratings. And about 4,553 students have done this course. And if you click on this link right here, that says 115 ratings, it's going to bring you lower to the page, and you could read like what people have said about this course. So like student feedback. So if you scroll through this, you could read, and pr pretty much, this is about, let's say, there's a lot of good reviews, so I've made like four to five stars. And of course, if you want to sort the reviews, you can go near the top. You can look for the reviews section right here. You can search for reviews. You can search for keywords in reviews, or you could go to the right of the search bar right here, and it should say all ratings. And you could click on it, and you could have the option of sorting by the different ratings. So let's say I want to see one star rating so click on one star and you can see all the one star ratings here as, as well so that's how you kind of see like the ratings for the specific course i'm going back up to the page so udemy is a little bit different from linkedin learning so for linkedin learning you just click on any of the courses and you can play for udemy you have to enroll in a course so you could enroll by clicking on the link usually to the right of the page, which is right here. It's indicated by this kind of squish box that's kind of like a, in a purple color. You can enroll, and it's going to enroll you into this course. But if you don't want to enroll yet, you go to preview this course, and you click on the play button right, right here, and you can kind of see like a short snippet of what the course is about. And if you scroll down, you'll see uh, more details about this course. So this course is about 12 and a half hours. You get five articles. You have nine downloadable resources. You can access this on like a mobile device. You do get a certificate of completion at the end of the course. And these courses are all non-credit. So you, you still get a certificate, but they are non-credit. And if you look to the left of the, the course page, you see what you'll learn. You can kind of see what you're going to learn from this course. And it's going to give you like requirements for this course. So if you do like a courses in different softwares, they're going to be uh, different requirements. So for this one, it's a Microsoft Excel course. So you do need a Microsoft Excel 2016 version for Windows installed to kind of go through this course. And if you scroll down, you can see more details about the course as well too. And you get to the section right here, who is this course for? So this course is for, uh, let's say, those new to using Microsoft Excel. Since I, I did the search and I sorted my results for beginner, but if you are more advanced, you could sort for like more advanced courses. And you could look for this section right here, who is this course for? And you could kind of double check to see is this course for you or not. And if you scroll down, you can see course content. So this is where all the topics are going to be listed as. So you can see acquiring Excel, all these topics here. And you can see the right of the title. You can see how long it's going to take you. And if you scroll down, there's going to be more sections about um, the different topics as well too. And these are not shown. So if you click on the arrow or triangle pointing down, it's gonna show you what this uh, section is about. And you can see 
basics of using ribbon and 14 minutes and 56 seconds. And you can actually pre preview this as well too. So for example, this class, I'm going to enroll in this course. So I'm going to click enroll. And it's going to enroll in the course. And you should be able to play the course. So the video right here, usually it's on the left. And the topics are on the right. And you can see the topics are right here. And once you complete like one section, there should be a check mark next to the box, which is next to the title of the course subject. And if you scroll down, uh, certain courses, they might give you course exercises. So let's say if a course is teaching you like a certain subject, it, it might want you to kind of practice. So it give you like resource files, which is right here on the right-hand side, resources. If you click on it, it's gonna give you like the files that you could download it to your device and you could kind of practice the topic on your device as well too. And for certain courses, there are quizzes. So they want to see like, are you paying attention or do you need more help? So usually the quizzes are at the end of each section. So right here, the section one, introduction, and there's a course right here, quiz one, section one. And you could click on it and you could start doing the, the quiz. So in order for you to kind of get the certificate, you have to complete all the sections. So you have to watch through each of these and you will have to complete the quiz in each section. Then once you finish everything, you'll get the certificate. So this is gonna be very similar to like what you've seen in LinkedIn Learning. You can activate the closed caption option on the bottom right-hand corner and select English and you can follow along. If you scroll down, we are in the overview section. It's gonna tell you what the course is about. There is a Q&A section right here. You could ask like questions about this course and usually people would answer or like the professor would answer as well too. And to the right of this, there's a note section. So this is where you kind of enter in your notes if you would want to refer back to them. And to the right of notes is announcements. And usually this is where like the instructor would want to give like quick uh, snippets of what's going on. And we went over earlier for reviews and you click on this, it will bring you back to the review section right here. And that's pretty much how a course within Udemy looks like. And if you look to the top right-hand corner of the page, you should see this section right here. It says your progress. So it's going to show you like if you've done half or more. And if you've done more, it's going to kind of highlight this. So I've done zero here. So it's not highlighted. But once you've done, this is going to change. And you can click on this and you can get your certificate. And if you look to the right of the section right here, you see three dots. And once you click on the three dots, you can have these options right here. Favorite this course, archive this course, or unenroll from the course. So that's pretty much how it looks like. And I'm going to go back to home. And like I mentioned earlier, you could do like a search for categories near the top left hand corner. Or if you just want to do a search, you look for the search bar near the top of the page and you type in your topic, so Microsoft Excel, and it's going to bring me back to my search results. So next I'm going to go over my, the my learning option. So if you go to the top right hand corner of the page, you see my learning. And if you click on this, it should show you like all the courses that you've kind of enrolled in or started on all the courses that you have archived to as well too. So right here it says all courses. And these are all the courses that I've done and I've completed this one course right here. So I will click on that. I'll show you how that looks like. So this is a course that I've completed. And if you look to the top right-hand corner, this icon is a little bit different. So it is complete. So it says get certificate. So you click on that and you could get your certificate. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. And if you go to the far right-hand corner, you look for a circle with usually your first initial. And if you hover over that, you see all these options. So my learning, account settings, edit profile, and the logout option. Okay, so that's pretty much my presentation on Udemy.